for a vacation that will make all your poker buddies jealous? Set sail with Texas Card House for seven days of sun, fun, and poker on March 26th to April 2nd, 2023. Sailing out of Galveston, Texas, the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas is one of the most awarded ships in the world. As you sail for seven days with Texas Card House with stops in Roatan, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. Sun, fun, and oh yeah, non-stop poker. Texas Card House is bringing their world-class staff on board for seven days of cash games, tournaments, and no matter your skill level, we've got games for you. Texas Card House Poker Cruise, Royal Caribbean, Allure of the Seas. Cabins are going fast. Don't get left in port and miss the vacation of a lifetime. For full details, visit TexasCardHouse.com. Hey, everybody, welcome to Texas Card House Live, and you know what time it is. Let's you're go. here. You're the first ones here. Saturday night, which means it's Saturday final table action. $20,000 was the guarantee. Fifty-four grand ended up being in the prize pool with first place taken down over $14,000. Thousand dollars, Pez. Big next one, to me. Bro. What's up? Big What's one. going on, my What's guy? What's up, bro? Good I to see like you. I feel like it's uh, it's been a little bit since I've been in the booth, Absolutely. but uh, I had an excellent vacation and an excellent birthday, and I'm excited to get to call this uh, final table action again. Absolutely. Well, we're glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here, and uh, I'm glad to have all of you here tonight. All a bunch of you. Let's see, we got about 104 of you guys hanging out with us right right off the cuff. So let's go down to the action. As Mo's already done some crazy. A lot of familiar faces here on the final table, and especially if you visit TCH often, you'll know a lot of these players that are here. Um, but he's just going to raise and take it down, and we're off on our final table. Neil. There it is. Rafi, 55 Good evening to all of my chat regs, chat pros. Chat pros, what's good? They're all in the chat right now. Rich Greenberg, hey, thank you so much for the little gifts. He gave he gave me some sports my memory memorabilia today. Oh, he did? Today. Oh, that's sick. Oh, yeah, he I gave saw me a Mavs him, uh, magnet and some Seahawks oh, gloves. Oh, nice. Let's I saw go. him at the uh, uh, Turbo. Oh, I forget what day it was, but, yeah, he was playing Turbo. I think it's Friday. Great, there we go. Columbus here all in in the big blind. <laughs> I think because he has to be. Oh, yeah, 1K. Wait, are we sure the stack is right? I think the stack might be actually wrong. Yeah, no, he's got oh, a billion yeah. chips. So, no, this is not actually all in. And we, I'm sure we'll get that sorted out in just a moment. But it looks like Mark is all in in the small blind. He definitely needs some assistance. <coughs> Dominated, though. Ace-8 versus uh, Ace-King here. Pretty sure 9-2 is not in the hand as the action tracker catches up. Yep. Got to back up to make sure the stacks are right. Back it up, back it up, back it up. But now let's go ahead and see the domination station. Can Mark find some help for his tournament life? Otherwise, he's going to be taking down just about 1100 bucks. An eight for straight eight cards. Uh, oh. Well. Ace three seven. Not perfect for the ace eight. Does need to still find an eight. And there's some ch technically chop outs. He can find that seven, Ooh. that last one. But he does not. Ace King with aces up, gonna Sorry, take it do down. David want. eliminates the short stack on the uh, second hand. Good game. So we wish all the best to Mark there. He's such a great guy, very nice uh, guy. And every hand. GG to Mark. <laughs> he has made some very successful ladders. <laughs> he was nursing a short stack for quite a while. He's gonna be taking home 1150 bucks. So now how about the GGs for Mark in the chat? And, uh, you know, we already have a player eliminated. I haven't even got to mention the fact that WSOP circuit winner, ri circuit ring winner, Bart Bogart. Oh, yeah, that's here. right. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did win a ring. Bart, man, that guy's a machine. He just, uh, he knows how to find him and often. If you've ever played with him, he's super tough to play with, too. Ace King going around for everybody here. Mo with Ace King off. Looks like he's going to open it up. 70,000 to go. Let's see if he gets any action. Does Mo? Doesn't look like anything going on just yet. And oh, no, that's it. Raise and take. The Bin Miney walk. That, that's the Ben Kirby Kirby walk, walk sorry. Ben Kirby walk. Raise and take <laughs> is Ben Kirby. <laughs> I got to knock the booth rust off. Yeah, there you 
Bart is coming off an incredible WSOP dude, insane, series dude, really uh, season, both in Vegas and at Choctaw. He got two two rings this year at Choctaw, yeah. which alone is sick. But he also ran deep in the main event this year. He took He's down a deep. lot of local events. Local, and I, and yeah, when I say not local, local events, yeah, I don't yeah. mean local 20Ks. I mean no, local big ones. Like six figures. <laughs> So we wish him all the best. We're lucky to have him here on our final table tonight. So that's it's really crazy to have a player like that in in the player pool here, uh, battling on a consistent basis. Like you'll see him here every Saturday. Uh, you know, if you play this tournament enough, you'll definitely sit down with him along with uh, some of the other crushers. Jim here. Just coming off a of final tabling with his wife not long ago. Yeah, that was wild. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Jim and that was actually a really good final table, yeah. Some some local legends here in the Dallas tournament scene. We welcome them both. We got a lot of information about these players. We did pull them about some, you know. Oh shoot. Oh, let's about oh, this about is everything. New. We yeah, asked them what new. they like, their occupation. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Their hobbies is uh, poker. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> So, ask and ye shall receive. We got more. Oh, yeah, this one's today. interesting right here. Jim Coyle, cocktail mixologist. If you don't say. Yo, what's good? And here he is with King Nine off. And uh, he's gonna he's fold gonna it. Let it go. Rick made day two of the WSOP million dollar bounty. Righteous. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> uh, some ambiguous number. <laughs> Gutter here for Mo and uh, eight deuce high for a rune. <coughs> Mo here gonna semi bluff and gets it done. Rune had uh, really nothing. Truly nothing. A rune with the uh, dancing and singing as his hobby. <laughs> Can I read this one? Yeah. So David Ta <laughs> filled out a book in the hobby section, and uh, we're just gonna let we're gonna let uh, yeah. David is our seat four here, very fun individual, and he is our chip leader today. So why don't you read out what he wrote in the yeah, hobby I will, section? I will. He's a he's a prominent cash player here too. Plays a lot of two five here at TCH and higher. His hobbies are tennis, and he only played the tournament because he saw Arnie make the final table. In for three bullets, needed ninth to break even. So I heard him say before the stream, if Arnie can do it, he can do it. Uh, that's where he went with that. Rick Fold and the Queen Jack suited. That's a very disciplined fold there. Well, here, Ace 5, thinking about it, in position of two players. And those are the blinds. He wants some free money. Will he get it? Uh, and a snap all in from Arun. Ace oh, queen. Yeah. No doubter there. Now, does Mo want to make this call? It's for about half, a little, little more than half his stack. I know. We did it. It's Only has you. king, queen, or less <laughs> beat. And he's 70-30 against most pairs, so I think he's just kind of have to let it go. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Michael Molino is an engineer, and he likes to slow play under the gun. <laughs> I'm actually getting more on board with this slow play under the gun here in Texas specifically. He can fit for 15 minutes. And so you want to take off the so Corey's a handyman, and this is his fourth TCH final table. Corey is Columbus in and seat he's Columbus. three. Yeah, and just uh, he know. just moved here in November of last year. Very cool. I think there's a Hollywood casino out there in Columbus, and I believe there's one more. There's a couple, a couple casinos out there. Rick with King Jack suited under the gun. And Mark, the last one here, Dungeons and Dragons for his. Let's go. Hobby. That's more my D &D. neck of the woods. There you go. Board games, Magic the Gathering, that's me. Yeah. Huge shout out to Wizards. Very of cool. The I'm Coast. glad you guys started doing that. That's sweet. What would you put as your hobbies? 
What are your current I'll hobbies? Have to, I'll have to get back to you because I couldn't think of anything witty on the, on the off the cuff. <laughs> Doug R, yes, that is Pez. It's me, and I'm back in the booth. Yeah. Nine eight of diamonds for Michael takes it down pre as we move on here. Yep, it's Ben and Pez in the booth tonight. I missed you all. Lots of you guys hanging out in the chat already. Over 220 <coughs> of you guys off the very beginning of our tournament final table tonight. So welcome all of you. If you are here for somebody, who are you here for? Who are you rooting on? I'm seeing a lot of love for Jim, Coyle, and Bart Bogart. We actually have a really interesting lineup here. The stack sizes are at a place now where we're early enough that people are going to have to make some moves. And then I think action is going to slow down as we get to like three or four deep. But as far as the player pool goes, it should be very interesting watching this final table develop. Arun here, two jacks as Vidi did open two threes. And he's got position. What's the move here? Is it just straight north? Yep. He is going straight north. Up to 480,000. He's all in. Needs to fade a cooler. He's not going to have to worry about these blinds. It's just VD here. He's got two threes and a big stack. Does he want to risk all of those chips? Yeah, that's <laughs> Adam's like, I got to read on this. <laughs> Damn it, Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, my, oh God. my gosh. That's so funny. That's, that's bad. It is going to be interesting as well to watch, you know, um, I, I would say like three or four of these players are more prominent cash players and three or four very prominent tournament players. So watching that dynamic develop is going to be really great as well, uh, strategy wise. Like if, if, if Bart and, you know, whoever get into a hand that plays cash, like Bart and Arun, say. And Bart's all yeah. in for his tournament life with Ace King. Bart with the no brainer here, Ace King off. Does anybody want to tussle with Mr. Bart? And the answer is no. Mitch A, what's up, buddy? In the chat. Lots of awesome promos going on in the room. If you buy a cabin here for the TCH cruise, you get 10 free hours. That's right. If you buy even the, the most base rate cabin at Texas Card House for the huh? Texas Card House cruise, you can get up to 10 free hours. Not even up to. You just get 10 free hours. Yeah. Free. That's dope. Compliments of TCH. So keep that in mind if you are interested in going on that cruise with all of us dealers, players alike, and other staff. It's going to be a heck of a time on the Pacific, uh, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, we're sailing out of Galveston. That's the Gulf, sir. Well, I mean, <laughs> is it not part of the – you're right. You know what? We're just going to drop it right there, and I'm going to drop that promo because obviously I can't geography. So uh, we're just going to look yeah, at a map. I had to – hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to you one time, bro. Sorry. Map, map. So we're just going to look this up, make sure how wrong I was. Yeah, how wrong are we? Yeah, super wrong. All yeah, right, that's the, fine. The Gulf is definitely its own entity. Well, here we are. <laughs> but I think you get into the Atlantic, right? Like, where, where are y'all going? I don't even know where, where the cruise is going. Let's, uh, let me get the full lineup. I don't want to get that wrong, too. Yeah. So, I feel like I know, but I just don't want to gamble anymore. Like Cancun or something? Yeah. Mexico? Yeah. Y'all just going down? Who knows? The Internet knows. Columbus Two tens. Here. There we go. Go for it. With the real one. Pocket tens. Going to make it 90K to go. Big race. 3X out of the small blind, which is interesting. I think that's what Vidi's thinking about right here. But uh, 
Yeah, he's going to let it go. Very nice for Corey. Big stack putting some pressure on. And I saw him doing that a lot at the last three tables. Yeah, blind v blind, actually, I like the bigger sizing. Some would say chip bully. Some would say playing well. So there's definitely column some A, column B tactics to be had here. Um, okay. Chip ICM definitely matters, and studied players understand some positions better than others. Of course, he drew the short end of the stick, having the chip leader to his left. To his left. This is the worst. Yeah. When you're on a big stack. Yeah, about the worst draw you could get. They kind of protect each other though, as well. When uh, they're in their blinds, no one's really going to like be super aggressive on them. But it's definitely not ideal. Rick now with the pocket eights. The snowmen all in for 90K. Let's see if anybody has anything to defend with. Who wants some of this smoke? Looks like nobody so far. And VD suited ace 10 is going to yeah, go ahead and absolutely. looks like rip raise for protection. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, especially out of the small blind. He's got ace-ten of clubs versus two eights. That's coin flip. Good old classic. Let's see a run out here for Rick's tournament life. Can he find it? Oh, Kendall my goodness. Right there. Ace is there. He needs to find one of two eights. No other car can come, and that will be it for Rick. He will be eliminated with two eights to VD, our chip leader. So, Rick. Congratulations. Enjoy the money. Excellent run, buddy. Good run indeed. He's going to be taking home 1530 bucks for his trouble. Not and just like day. that, we're down to seven. Next me. player to be eliminated will Even receive $2,290. And with that, we also have a $1.49 super chat from X1, who sends the black cat emoji. Will X go and give it to you? Thank you so much. I don't know how I feel about that emoji. Oh, okay. I mean, we were just talking about the crap table. So yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Superstitions yeah. just come uh, in full force on the craps table. Yeah. So. Unless Jim. you're me, who thinks logically in all, yeah, in all yeah. points. Jim here with pocket aces. First American Airlines sighting. He's going to make it 70K to go. Uh, Michael now with King 10. He's going to let it go. Columbus wants to battle. He's yeah, got I position. Could see, yeah, I could see Jack 10 calling here all day. Yeah. And it will just come down to heads up action. Can Corey find the suck out? Jack 10 definitely one of those hands to, to crack the aces. And it comes King high. I got to match Jim likes this flop, but Corey. It's got no redraw other than just backdoor Broadway. I really like a check here, but he's going to decide to lead out. Uh, basically, if he has a king, he has to call. I think that's why he did that. But I, I like a check because it leaves all the opponent's bluffs in. And you know, you have top pair on a rainbow board. Nice hand there for Jim. Always nice to pick up birds. It's Saturday evening, and we hope you're having a good time out there all across the world. Make sure you grab yourself a snack, drink. Do what you got to do, because we have got plenty of poker coming to you live from Dallas, Texas tonight. Dallas, Texas, home of the Cowboys, who play tomorrow, and I cannot wait because it's absolutely football season, and we're right in it. But more importantly, we're at this final table. And, and we're seeing three bets now. VD putting some pressure on this other big stack. Love this. I actually, I like Columbus's aggression as well with the threes. And but yeah, he's gonna have to let it go. But I mean, that's just great. I mean, yes. VD is gonna be the one that is gonna punish you for your overplays. Yeah, all so. yeah, all day. Galazzo likes football. In the chat. Got any other football fans out there? Where, where are my Hawk fans? Where are my, my fellow Hawk fans? Stop it. We know we know it's no good. We know it's not going to work out, but we're happy to be here. 
in the league. <laughs> at least you, at least you can keep one team. You ain't saying nothing anyway. <laughs> We're not more excited yeah, for math yeah, season in yeah. a month. That's, my, <laughs> that's where I'm at. Two months, whatever. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Arun here with 10-9 suited on the button. Definitely would advise opening this. And a suited oh, ace eight for Bar. Boy. He is out of position, and though. He's short. It's a tough spot to think about what to do here. He will go flush mining. Oh, boy, what does Tim do? 30K to defend with King Jack off. Like, this is. He's getting a billion to one. Yeah, so he, this is he's in there. Yeah. Flop coming. And it is King High. King 10 9 is going to be top pair for Jim. Two pair for Arun with the backdoor clubs and then the backdoor nut flush draw for Bart. Okay. It goes check, check. Arun going to go ahead and lead. Trying to rep a king when, in fact, he's got a king beat. He's going to bet it. Bart out of position, makes the fold, and Jim can't fold a top yeah, pair yet. He's got a straight draw, too. Oh, guard. my oh. God. What is this? And oh. both players actually don't really like this. It brings in the four-liner. Both players with two pair. Jim's okay. best. And it might just go check, check here. Unless, oh, my goodness. What is this? 175 from Arun. At what least for do? him, it's a scary yeah. board. Yeah, yeah, what do you do? This is, this is insane. See if Jim can sniff this one out. What queens? What queens exist here in the opening range? Well, the problem is it's like ace queens, queens are gonna are gonna continue and rep this flop, and yeah. they just sucked out. Ace queen, king queen. He's blocking queen, queen jack, and king. Er, queen jack and king queen. King queen. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant to say. Blank on the river. I mean. He has to know that Arun's going to jam if he checks. There's 760 in. Check, check. Oh, oh, check, check. Wow. wow. Arun can't believe it. Wow, what a sick turn. King Jack. It honestly, uh, that, that one was crazy, actually. I don't know if I checked, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, you're only losing to another queen, but... I feel like a queen, like if he has a queen there, I don't think he checks a queen leading out. I don't like, he doesn't want to lose any value. Unless he's playing trappy. I don't know, that's a crazy hand. A rune now stacks just <laughs> diminished down. He's got like 200k left. What do you guys do there? Yeah, that's. I want to know yeah. what, what what our chat does there. That's a tough spot. Turn your hand basically into a bluff. Are you, are, are you chat? Are you guys checking back that river? Or are you betting it? <laughs> does it? Oh, I don't know. Does the queen just flat there? Really? I don't know. That's crazy. Does a queen flat that turn? That's my only thing with like the stacks of pot, with the runes bet, and how much they had back. I don't, I don't know. If BD's in there with the ten nine of hearts. He's gonna make it seventy five thousand to go. Gene in the back. Blinds are going up next hand. 20-40-40. And Vidi gets it done with the raise and take.
Seeing a lot of split, uh, split debate. Yeah, it's really about that like, check. Yeah. Thank you guys for uh, talking with us here in the in the booth. We always appreciate you guys interacting with us. As we're in here, we're gonna try again. Jack seven of clubs, just gonna limp. Oh boy. And Columbus Corey just calling don't, as well. Don't do it. It's back to the. Oh boy. Don't do it. Three way action on the flop. Two tens. Oh, wow. And the. Cl oh, no club draw. Excuse me. There's a little miss on my eyeball there. Now there's oh. the club draw. So now Corey can actually get some value here from Arun. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, oh, oh. oh or not. Shoot. Or not. Sheesh. All righty then. What do we know? I feel like. <laughs> what do we know? I don't man? ever know, dude. I don't know. That's just why poker is such a good game, What's right? What's life, dude? I don't even know. Arun now our... down to four bigs. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> I really was. Oopsies. <laughs> it's okay. We got Mitch in chat. Mitch Lloyd, fellow Saturday commentator. Says, hey, Ben and Pez. Emily and I just sitting down for dinner. Tuned in just in time to see the end of that hand with the rune. And uh, he thinks the rune should have bet something. Yeah, but he does say star-studded final table. And I can't agree more. Welcome. If you're just joining us now, $20,000 guarantee final table here from Texas Cardhouse, Dallas. We smashed the guarantee about 2.5x. It's about 54000 in the pool. The 14 grand we're playing for for first as Michael takes it down with the deuces. They never lose, as they say. <laughs> oh, Ragnar, my guy. Definitely. BJ makes a good point in chat. If he didn't fold on the turn for the t to, to the turn bet, what makes you think he's gonna fold on to the river bet, which is for you know, four bigs, five bigs. Yeah. So that's fair. That's that's the, mo the yeah, most the most reasonable way to tonight, think about it. It's quiet. It's <laughs> nothing to talk about. <laughs> Feel a little out of place. BD two sixes <laughs> is just gonna rip it for all of the piles. So <laughs> 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 Now a ruin here. I'm, I'm gonna die anyway soon. Like you know, should it be now or maybe a couple of hands later? It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can tell that's a very good hand you have over there. So. <laughs> <laughs> With the needle. Really? Yes. I didn't see it anyway. Uh, Race, right? Here he has in there. This is where yeah, some of that. Cash tournament uh, experience like comes into play. Yeah. Like he's trying to limp in hands with a very Shit, short stack Shit. and just keeps uh, who knocked you out? Was it Arnie? Digging a Bro. deeper <laughs> hole for himself <laughs> when fucking Arnie. He just <laughs> God, he, when he really just needs to put it in there and, and try to maximize his equity. I've been on the heater actually. Yeah. Do you play poker often in general or not? Um, when you can, when you got time. Not so much since I've been in Texas. Uh, are you from here? No, I'm, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. But I've, I've been there. playing since uh, probably 2004. I guess yeah, same around, yeah, when I was uh, on the ESPN or whatever. Erin says no, and he's going to get a whole lot of free hands. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm just calling uh, anybody visiting. No, I I'm moved here in November. I moved here. Yeah. Been a long time. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is a good turn, though. We've got 80 likes so far on the stream tonight, guys. If you're enjoying it tonight, your programming that is free from Dallas, Texas tonight. I guess all we could really ask for is a little uh, smashing of the like button. It goes a long way to improve the algorithm for us at TCH Live so we can show the most amount of people as possible. Absolutely. 
trying to grow the game of poker one stream at a time. Yeah, I'll take this over. Might not be the biggest out there, but we do love what we do here in Dallas. As we get back to Corey here, big slick, gonna bump it up, makes it 100,000 to go. It was funny this past winter. Uh, oh, here we go. A room with pocket tens is gonna ship it. Dude, yeah, that's a it. snap ship. Are you here in the <laughs> Oh, yeah, and this is yeah. this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah. if Arun didn't limp fold three hands in a row, like he has three three more big blinds here that he could have doubled up with in a basically a race ten ten versus ace king. Um, but we're gonna go to a run out. Good old classic ace king versus ten ten. Ten's looking pretty good. Can they hold? And a club oh, for Max oh, Sweat, even oh, though it's top set. Always. Oh, no dice. Uh, Ten's full. We'll take it down. Room's going to double up. Aaron, you knew, you, you knew the weight. You knew. <laughs> oh, the increase is down. No, <laughs> oh, stand up equity is real. That's true. Bart did it. Yep. The ace nine. There is no one, maybe one or two people better at needling in this room than David. Oh, 100%. David is so fast, yeah. and I mean yeah, yeah. blazing fast at needles, and it is amazing. It's good for the game. VD going to raise, makes it 80,000 to go, blinds 20, 40, 40. I'm an audience for 80K. I got to be 260. I went all in for 80k, right? You did go on. 80 times 2, 150 plus 100,000 on the dead money. 100,000 on the dead money? Yeah, yeah. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, <laughs> oh boy! Gets the pot too. Yeah, see that pot. Hey, hey, we get five dollars. You would have probably called it. Two fifty-five call. Yeah. Two fifty-five call. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Two sixty. <laughs> All right. Oh boy, I miss being in here. This is uh. Always some good stuff here. You got four forty now. <laughs> Just like that. Seven deuce for Corey. <laughs> blind people blind here. And Michael here is the best hand by a significant margin. It goes check, check, though. <laughs> Natural nine. <laughs> He's been making these Baccarat jokes for, like, hours. I need to learn this game. There's nothing Someone to Someone told me that I would, I would thoroughly enjoy it. Here, I'll pull up. I was sitting next to somebody. I, I kind of understand it, but I don't remember. I'll just, I'll just uh, Google, you know, poker near me or whatever. There you go. Oh, it's not exactly near me. If you do travel, actually, uh, what they're talking about on the table is how we found this place. If you do travel, um, Poker Atlas does really great with your location, and you can find places to play wherever you're at. So I highly recommend the Poker Atlas app, not only for signing up, for TCH, but also wherever you're traveling around. Mo now is going to open up Jack-10 suited I'll never complain of about diamonds. And Jim again. with queens. Wow, wow. two very here. pretty hands here. And it's like not unreasonable for Jim to three bet this and then Mo to ship his Jack-10. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Insta fold. Mo yeah. now. Oh yeah, Mo's gonna let it go too. Wow. Being out of position, it's either a, a four better yeah, fold. Yeah, it's either yeah, it's either all in or nothing. I think if he's a little shorter, he probably Hard snaps that off. But he is Here. 400, just shy of 400. Saturday, so eight, eight, like 12 weeks. Aaron Hall is shit. I'm asking all, all final tables in your career. Huh? I don't know. How many did you win or chop? Here. Four spades. First no, no Saturday. None? What? He can. That's remarkable, actually. If I were to tell you that Bart's never chopped or won a Saturday tournament, but what would you, what would you say? Would you believe me? It is like that. Yeah. I wouldn't think it's that outlandish. Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy to think about. Is Mo gonna? Oh, I was like, is he gonna try to make a squeeze play here? That's crazy. Heads up. We're going heads up, Jack Ten versus Jack Ten. Both of the offsuit variety, and chop it up. I don't think we're seeing a chop here. Michael not gonna give him a chance to get there. Very nice play from Mike. Take some more chips off of our chip leader. Repping range. Oh, I forgot there's UFC tonight, too. That's fun. Super fun. Seven players remaining. TCH Dallas final table Saturday. We appreciate you watching and joining us. Bart now with pocket sixes is going to rip it. Oh, bottom left, man. Come on. I don't know why it was too good luck. 405,000 is the name of the bet. Just over 10 bigs on the open rip. Run cooking with a queen 10. <laughs> thought about it, he thought about it, and then he thought less about it. Bart's like sweet. Bart's <laughs> good. Have you played cash much yet here? Just turn it. David, if you win this, you owe me 10 bucks, you know why? I owe you? Why? Ace, six, ace, queen, ace, queen's not a good hand. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we warned you before you sat uh, down. It was raised and a re <laughs> Still you went off. It was suited. That is totally unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Let's GT up. <laughs> it must be talking about the hand that he stacked hey, him but on. But if I didn't do that, you wouldn't have is came that, back later to destroy the table. It must yeah. be. <laughs> uh, in that case, it is the right thing. At all. We, weren't, we helped each other. Yeah. We helped each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so sorry, you like German small. Oh, Rune with the pocket um, kings I mean, now, and Michael with the I'm ace five uh, suited. I'm trying to work for myself. So oh, I mean, he could definitely call this. He wants to know how much. Uh, he yeah, could definitely here, call this. Gotta, it's not for his life. Uh, yeah. a a third, I actually probably do call this. I would probably call this. But he lets it go. Arun shows the two Cowboys. The two Dallas locals. Right, fine, you give me 10% of your one. Oh uh, <laughs> you didn't even double me up. What are you talking about? I like swapping. Giving you some on life. On I was the one creating the monster there. If it was 255, I call. You're <laughs> 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 running up more. I'm trying. I'm yeah. trying. All right, just be patient, though. It's not a, it's not a sprint. Come here. No doubt, no doubt. Again, this ain't, this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a sprint. 
It's a marathon as he opens King 7 off suit. <laughs> he said be patient. <laughs> I hope Arnie's watching. Well, he gets it done. So what do I know? I wonder if Arnie's in the room. We'll give him his. Oh, yes. uh, we'll give him um, I know, I know. David's. Um, Do you play this hand out much? here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I used to be, uh, I used so to here's how Bakker works. Then, um, you only got to make one of two bets. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, we, we lost a lot of people. Playing for fun <laughs> money here <laughs> on the internet to show him how this. You guys took garage lately. <laughs> Cards come out. Cool, it doesn't go away. You're trying to get to the, the close, adding the totals up, you're trying to get the closest to nine without going over. And if you go nine, nine is 18, you cut off the 10 spots. This is eight. Oh, okay. Uh, honestly, the first time I got busted, I remember, like, I was on the list. Yeah, Bart's yeah, going to yeah. rip ace-10. That's 10. the only reason I, I, I bought Fun the facts. second bullet. Like, I didn't want to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and the same thing why I rebought, too. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I He's just gonna get it done. I mean, I raised the king nine to get jam a call and he's gonna call it ace five. Yeah. Oh, you remember that? I was there. Agent McBride in the chat. That, they called my name. What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, that's been a while. Like, oh, yeah. You got one in. Oh, yeah. And a king jack. Just about 400 of you guys hanging out with us tonight. Look at this guy, he kept a track on me. Bro. Hope you guys are Those are the one. biggest hands on the <laughs> table. Oh, yeah. I didn't even remember that king jack had this guy saying that. Oh, my God. You remember our King Jack hand? Huh? We had we uh, both had King Jack on the table over there. Oh uh, King Jack oh King yeah, Queen is a shove here for Mo. Good luck to him, it's for just about three hundred K. How about nothing? Jam three club, I don't know what you call. My four I think I was pretty pretty not deep, but my stack was good. Yeah. Can he get some lines? <laughs> Just a whole lot of uh, collision avoidance so far. That, yep. Jack ten off was was something different. That's one of a kind. You call it Jack ten. Oh, yeah. Two ships oh, yeah, 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 ever yeah, yeah. so passively yeah. or passing yeah. closely yeah. in the night. That was a big race. It's been the story of the past like ten hands, hands, hands or so. Someone saying that Ace Five was a call. I think I it was a call. I almost shut on the flop because I was supposed to act. <laughs> I wish you would have. You dodged two bullets. I don't know if I told you this. You look like one Jim of now with Ace Three back. suited. Oh. He's gonna let it go. Got it. Well, I mean, got it. Michael got with too. ace queen suited yeah. now. <laughs> Columbus with king ten. And another avoided collision. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> I didn't mean to do anything. I was just. I was like, what is it, bro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put that away. It's like, what are you doing? Put it away. It is really starts about to get, get serious. So the next level is um, the 50-50 level. Are you going on the cruise, Miney? <sighs> no? Is that a I don't know? What's this side? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, should I just leave it alone? <laughs> Bart now, king five off.
Poker Monkey's going on the cruise because he won the free one. He won the free one. That's so, so sick. sick. Yeah, that's sick. What a good guy. Paul, otherwise known as Poker Monkey, was our winner for the free cruise. We gave away uh, free merch all throughout the month of August. And then we eventually, all the all the people who won merch throughout August were redrawn into a big pool for one lucky winner to take down not only free merch, but free cruise, baby. That's free ocean views, free cash game uh, access. Sailing out of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, which is just <laughs> apparently nowhere near applicable to the Atlantic Ocean. It's its own separate entity. Or, okay, I love uh, it, listen, buddy. listen. It's man. all out of love. I just can't, man. Look, if I can't needle you on tournaments anymore, I gotta like figure something else out to needle you on. Arun is in there with a 10-6 yeah, like, off. Yeah, like he looked Wait like he wanted to make a move too. Bart was just staring him down. Just gonna check it. Flop coming in hot. And it comes nine, seven, seven. Okay. Two, four, one. Luna. Okay. Wait, that's not the right phone number. Yeah. It's, the little phone. it's eight, six, seven. Eight, seven, seven. Oh. You were wrong and I was wrong. I accept that result. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, boy. Look at this. Bart popping it to 175. Making a move on Arun here. And he's going to make the call. Bart looking for an, is an eight live. Yeah, an eight was live, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't see it on the outs counter. Uh, there Maybe there just weren't any left. Let's see if Bart decides to go for it or give up. He's definitely, it's definitely, if he goes for it, he's definitely going all in. All in. Yep, there it is. Now let's see what Arun can do if he can sniff this out. What is ripping it here? Did you beat? I gotta imagine it's just hearts. Maybe 10 8 of hearts? Wait, no, not 10 8. 10 8, no good. <laughs> 10, 10. No, I don't know. Yeah, not, Got like, nothing, man. You have to put him on pure air. It's just. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's really. And he, he has the Ten of Hearts in his hand. Wow, yeah. that's even worse. Yeah, yeah worse for Bart. I mean, good for Arun. I don't can he sniff it out? Yeah. And I don't know if... Yeah, that's... Uh, what's worse is it's Arun's entire stack. So he's basically calling for his tournament life with a uh, pair of sixes. Oh! Makes the call, and the six is good. Sick. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sniffed it out. Wow. Unbelievable call here. Oh, Arun making boy. moves. Leaves Bart with, I think, 5K. 5K. Yeah, 5K. Oh, boy. Oh, I think it was the flop check that did it. Make sure you throw this. Very <laughs> nice call from Arun and Bart now down to very few chips. Chip in the chair in the small blind. Good call. <laughs> Sheesh is right. I really think it was the, the check flop that uh, made it because, like, if I think if he has a nine there, he probably leads. I don't know. A seven definitely doesn't lead, though. And Bart's more likely to have <coughs> the sevens. So, I don't know. That's that's crazy. What a good call. Sniffed it out. Back to a rune here. 7-4. And Bart, what's he got to work with for his all-in? <laughs> Queen eight. He's got live ones against. Is there a against term for this where one, one, one side is pipped and the other side is not pipped? You know what I'm saying? Like. No. There, I feel like there needs to be a term for this. All right, I see that's it all, the time. all you, boss. King 5-5. Five, five. Bart needs a jack. He found oh, one! Oh, he's alive. He, oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. No, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the jack is good, and he's going to chip it up. <laughs> he just 10x'd his uh, chip stack. 
He still? Oh no, I was he still made That's money, so sick he that he gets the Andy in the... <laughs> yeah. Five to 50, just like that. It's back in it. Will we see the Bogard run up? That'd be crazy. I don't want the odds. I'm not giving them to you. Shutting that down ASAP. Ace Jack for Corey. He's going to raise it up to 100,000. Now Bart can actually fold some hands. Wait for a good spot to double up again. And it's over to Michael. Ace Queen's got Corey pipped. Oh, he's just going to flat it. Jeez. Wow. And it comes the nuts spade draw for Michael. Ace Queen's good also at, in that in its own right. Corey just drawing to two jacks. And he's betting it. Oh my gosh, he's just gonna keep on with this smooth calling. Goes check check to the river, brings in a deuce, and honestly both hands miss. And it goes check check, ace queen will take it down. What a what an under repped hand. Yeah, what a unconventional way to play that hand out. Captain Under Paris with the $25 super chat to the guys in the back of house here, commentators and the back end stream guys. Says, great commentary, guys. Awesome final table. Come to our TCH Dallas monthly meetup game on the 25th here in Dallas. TCH merch, splash pots, and much more. Well, thank you for the little bit of help there, a little support to your favorite stream staff, Mr. Captain. And yes, absolutely, guys, if you do enjoy. Hanging out with us on TCH Live. A lot of the chatters get together here in Dallas <laughs> to uh, play some 1-3 together. It looks like you're going to do that on the 25th of this month, so come on down. Usually around noon or 1 o'clock is when they start getting, go getting going. Vidi here, ace 10, opens to 80,000. Bart is all in for 50, so all in for less. Someone folded eight. Corey's in there with jack seven. Bart's got the best of it right now. Can he hold for a triple up? They're playing a little tag team here. Trying to get uh, Bart eliminated. Comes King high, King six, deuce. Ace Jack still good. Jack on the oh, turn. Wow. Bart looking pretty dang good. He will triple up. <laughs> Bart's uh, been running hot with these jacks, man. And he's somebody you don't want to give more chips to. So he's gonna he's gonna survive again and. Damn it, Arnie. Two. <laughs> Oh, David, I can't, brother. Well, look at this. Bart, from just 5,000 chips, is now up there. He's yeah. still got a long way to go. 270, I mean, like another double up is, I mean, he's not even in his blinds yet either. And he, he's definitely one to know how to navigate a short stack. Like, this guy is... Experience through and through. He's gonna he's gonna put it in there with any hand that deserves it, that has the equity to do so. Michelle Bogard in the chat. I would assume Bart's wife. No. Uh, no. Jared is his wife. Oh, uh, okay. His, his girl, but uh, oh. Sorry. I'm assuming relative. Yeah, yeah relative. Over there. I just saw the baby, you know. Yeah. Oh. Bart now with the sixes. <laughs> He's going to rip it. Absolutely. Wow, man, he is <laughs> he is going for glory. He's trying to win it all. I mean, this is what you have to do, you know. Like when you're this short, you you have to take take what you got and 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 live with it. And oh man, and here we go, David, otherwise known as VD, is in there with him with the ace high. It's a flip, pure flip here. All 
right, Bart. Thanks, Walter, for that <laughs> clarification. Good we are, I think. Heads up, Bart's tournament life at stake, but he is poised to win a big one if he can hold. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. 10 on the turn, and that is more outs for Vidi. And a four oh, is not going to do it. Bart good. doubles up from 5,000 chips, not like five hands <laughs> yeah, ago. This is so sick. 100 X. Wait, no. Yeah, 100 yeah, X. Yeah, he is up to 500,000 in chips, and he is battling with the rest of them. Oh, my God. How about it for Bart Bogard, ladies and gentlemen? That's sick. That is some serious run good at a very important time. Jeez Louise. That is that's just insane, man. This is this is crazy. We see it all the time, though. Like that's you know I shut it down from the get go, but it's just something that happens in tournament poker, and you can get on these little runs where this stuff like this just happens, and you're back in the tournament, and it really, and I can say I, I can speak from a little experience. When you have this happen to you, you really get zoned in on your game and you really get locked in and, and you start playing really well um, when you when you luck out a couple times and, and dodge some stuff and, and get another stack. Why are you so stubborn, bro? You should have followed it. I should have more perfect. <coughs> Ooh, now Bart with the needle. He is. He said, why are you so stubborn, bro? Well, now he can needle because he can, st he can still, you know, get some value out of maybe roughing up his right side. Yeah. yeah. No, he's got a stack. Good job. Justin Johnson says Bart's got that alligator blood. That ain't wrong. Is that like cold? Like he's cold blooded? Is yeah, that what it that just means he's, oh, okay. he's tough. He's tough. Oh, okay. to I didn't know. It's another. It's like thick I'm skin. not from Florida. Thick skin. Shut up, dog. There's no way I won. Ace queen for Michael. He's going to open, make it 125,000. Blinds 25,000, 50,000 with a 50,000 big blind ante. As we move over to Mo, King Queen on the button. Interesting spot. He's got position, could flat, but oh, I actually wow. like all three of the buttons, yeah. but he is going to just go for the conservative one. And Mike's just going to take it down. I think with four bigs, like you got to send it there. I'm almost definite. I could pull that up on a chart. Uh, versus a what was well, what position was Michael in? With, with only four bigs, so I mean, I mean that's the point though. You don't like well, you don't, you don't want, want to suicide fold. your chips. You don't want the fold equity though. You do, with the king queen? Yes, yeah, you, do. you no, I mean yes, you really. do. You want to fold out any any weak ace for sure. With four bigs, bro, you're really just trying to double up. You're not folding anything out with four bigs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you don't rip it. No, that's why you do rip it though. All in. It doesn't matter what hand you have. Like, you're you want to double up your four picks, and with two with two Broadway cards. You don't want to send it when you're bad. Two Broadway cards on on four bigs, you gotta send it. Most of the time. Like a lot of the time, especially he was oh. what a low jack oh, open. Oh, wow, Columbus just shipped it here. And, and wow, talk about, we were just talking oh, about some chip suicide yeah. here. Jim waking up with <laughs> oh, it, two wow. kings. This is a yikes for sure. This is actually oh for boy. Corey's tournament live, and he's got six. He's got 625. This is a 1.3 million pot. This is huge. What a big pot this is. This is crazy. King in the door. Oh, and no diamonds no, out there. Only no, wheels no. can come, and that is not it. Drawing dead is Corey, and he actually oh. finds ah. tri trips on the river. It was all getting in there. Grody. They got to the turn yeah. anyway. So. Wow, sick hand. Jim going to go ahead and stack Corey for piles. What a huge pot that was. That a was. Massive hand. Jim, Jim, Jim. Patience pays off. Corey going to take down 2290 bucks being eliminated in seventh place. We got to get some GGs over to Corey there. Very well done.
Wow. Moe's going to ship his pocket threes, and Arun's going to wake up with pocket jacks. Oh, he just calls. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's Bart going to do now? Oh, I think Bart has to. I think he has to rip this. I really do. Oh, he's going to let it go. Wow. He fades disaster on the hand of a road. And now we're going to go heads up. Pocket pair versus pocket pair. I would have loved to see if he had no King King. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Standing up. Who's stronger? Yeah, we both. I'm all in if you fold. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why did you say that? You asked me. Why did you Oh, and there's the king, of course. Of course, the king's on the flop. Oh my God. And now threes have more outs. Doesn't find him. Jack's wow. going to go ahead and eliminate Mo now in sixth place. They're dropping like flies. We're down to five players, folks. Bart really wanted to ship it there. I could see it. Oh, man, that's tough. Look at that. Two sick ladders for Bart. Super sick. Mo. Oh. 2895 bucks going Moe's way. Very nice score for him. Thank you for playing with us today, Mo. Now we're down to five. Next player to be eliminated will receive just over $3,400. Oh, I know. Isn't that crazy? And two What's Dallas really legends still on the final <laughs> table and a bunch of other regulars to the room. room. Vidi and, of course, Mike. But Bart and Jim are definitely mega ultra super regulars to the tournament scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not give, I'm not giving you that credit. <laughs> Bart going to ship Bart. it. Jack 8 in the cutoff. Only has to get through a few more players. Jim with a suited ace. Thinks better of it. Mike, 10-5, no dice. Now it's just the big blind. Vidi. King 8 says no. Bart gets a bluff through for some bonus chips. and a 4. I feel short stack, even though I and think I'm like, for I'm that, I'm not going to let him tell me I'm tight anymore. <laughs> 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 no, you think I'm ahead of you, yeah. Because, well, they, because come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I think that was a uh, I like the play. I, think I it's love a target, the play. I like a uh, position target. But he said I'm aggressive, yeah. and I don't think I'm that aggressive. Mm. Granted, they're five-handed. It's a great play. Love yeah, it's a good play, yeah. Trying to be one. It's like when I sit down, I'm like, it's oh, not I'm fair, not Bart. aggressive. That's all I'm saying. It's not fair. I want respect. One day. One day. Folds around to the blinds. Oh. BD says, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> and a suited king for a rune. Actually, I don't know. Kind of like squeeze here. I don't mind a squeeze at all here. And he will do it for 75k more. VD king nine. Just folds. Love it. Yeah, that's really a uh, – you can get into some of these heady plays where, you know, ICM is playing a factor if you think any of these players are thinking this way, which they may or may not be. Who knows? But um, if you take some of those opportunities, you can really knock down some blinds and uh, take pots that really don't belong to you. One point seven million is Jim's stack. That's a big stack of chips. Raise to one twenty five. Michael gonna open suited ace. Oh Arun, two nines. Very hard to make a pocket pair shorthanded. And he's in there like swimwear. Heads up to a flop. It comes ten high. Nine's looking pretty good. No draws for Michael to be had. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Completes the Badoogie on the board. Nine's liking it now. 150 is the bet. And will Michael float one time to the river? No, he will not. He will not. Who's going to take it all down? Who do you got? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Run the poll. Let's run the poll right now. You think Mike and C1? This C1's is actually really interesting because of the stack okay. sizes. Go ahead, though. No, nope, that's fine. No, no you, you talk. No, that's that's all right. <laughs> Complete your that's thought. 
No stack sizes. Talk about the stack sizes. The stack sizes that Double Up puts anybody back in it. So that's where I was going with that. Excellent. Right. Do you think Mike is going to take it in seat one? Maybe VD in seat two? Arun in seat three? Bart in seat four? Of course, Mr. Jim Coyle in seat five. Drop a one through five. Who do you think is going to take it down? Well, again, one for Mike, two for... Oh. Who's in that seat two again? Vidi. Two for Vidi, three for Arun, four for Bart, five for Jim. Drop it in the chat. King Jack four, Vidi's going to flop an open ender. A whole lot of nothing for Jim. Who do you got, Miney? You know what? Who it's Bart's tournament with? to win, man. I think it is. Although I love, I love VD though. I love all these these players. I played a lot of hours with a lot of these players. So yeah. Drop who you got in the chat. VD with the fish hooks. Big blind, and he's got queens. Cooler, oh boy! Five-handed cooler here. Mike versus Vidi. This is going to be expensive. Rip it, snap call. Wow. Let's see five cards. How Twice. in the world? <laughs> Twice. <laughs> oh boy! It's a big pot right here too. Eighty twenty. Two live jacks in the deck for Vidi. Can he find him? Not on the flop. Two cards to come. Oh, he's got him club covered, too. One card left. Needs a jack. Does not. Queens. Wow. Get the double up for Michael and is going to dethrone Vidi from the chip leader qualification. Just a cooler there. Nothing you can do. Nice hand for Mike. Surprised David didn't blame Arnie there. I think he just forgot. Yeah. I think he would have <laughs> if he were around. <laughs> just shy of 500 watching us tonight so far. Right now. Hit that like button if you could, so please. Goes a long way to help the stream. And if you are just joining us right now, we are five-handed at the final table for the 20K Guarantee No Limit Hold'em Tournament. No Limit Hold'em Tournament from Texas Card House, Dallas. And we're going heads up to a flop. Comes perfect. <laughs> VD's like, where was this last hand? Yeah, this is yikes. <laughs> Pair of fives up for both players. Jack's up, rather. That's a chop pot. That ace is playing. Yeah, nothing okay. changes. Okay. Table it. Table it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> table it. <laughs> oh, boy. We've seen that so many times on stream, too, bro. It's, like, really crazy. Have you ever seen it in person? What? Like, while you're playing? Someone not table, like, a winner or something like that? All the time. Like, yeah, it's kind of yep. crazy. A lot of it happens in PLO when they're like looking at their aces or they're looking at their suited ace and then all of a sudden their random 7-5 is a straight in their hand as well. Oof. And they'll like show me like, ah, I had everything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you did, bro. You won. <laughs> Good job. Believe it or not, it happens all the time. I, I do believe it. I do, yeah. And PLO players just refuse to table their hands if, if they don't think it's a winner. Just refuse. Michael now with King Jack off. Oh boy. 
What a move here by Vini. Just going to shove it in his face and get it through with the ace nine off. That's pretty grody. Are you on the PLL list? <laughs> my name. Awesome. <laughs> As if on cue. Something on your phone, yeah. Jim here. He's the only player that's had aces, and this is the second time. And kings. And kings. And queens. <laughs> A little bit of run good never hurt nobody. I mean, really? Physically. I suppose. He takes it down. Minimum pain for the table. Oh, all in. <laughs> Is it time, bro? Uh, soon. Okay. Soon. Guys, if you are local to Dallas and you play in Texas Cardhouse Dallas or you've been meaning to play at Texas Cardhouse Dallas, we have a sick deal going on all throughout the month of September. It's nine hours for $99. That's going to be a $2 per hour discount when you buy in bulk. And that is free money, folks. That is free money. Good luck. It's a sweet deal. Solid discount. Yep. Discount on your hourly. You're going to want to come get a piece of it here only at Texas Card House Dallas where the action is absolutely fire 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah. There are two tables? Three tables? Yep. <laughs> There's the cut. The, the actual PLO PLO stuff yeah. going on. That's so funny. All right, guys. It's it's almost question time. After the conclusion of this next hand, I've got a question for you. And you know what it is already if you're a regular to the stream here. But don't jump the gun. Man your keyboards. Get ready to go. It's question time. For all my chat regs. Two fives for Vidi. Strong hand, five-handed. Gets it done. All right, friends. You know it. I got a question for you. If you are watching Texas Card House Live Dallas somewhere in the world today, I do want to know where. Drop your geo location, your geo tag, whatever it is, in the chat. Rep it for your city. It's time to see where our TCH Live viewers are watching from all over. I'm going to shout out the first batch that I do see. And if I don't get you, uh, don't sweat it. I do it every stream that I do. Show some love for where you're from tonight. Location's already coming in. We'll shut those out. After this hand is over, a rune queen nine suited raises to 100,000. It's going to fold back to Vidi here. And the big blind who's got a nice one, queen jack, can thinking definitely about doing defend. something. Yeah, can definitely defend this. thing is you got less fold equity against exactly a rune. <laughs> <laughs> so he is just going to make the call and see a flop. Queen would be disaster. Oh, that'd be grody. Oh, this oh is my god, that's too. nuts yeah, for yeah, Vidi. This is, this is really and the gross. heart draw for a rune. Yeah, then we this is all in there, man. Yeah, you could really see an all in here. The stony balonies for Vidi. Vidi has to raise this. Oh, slow oh, no. play. Turn card coming. It's a heart! Oh, sick. And Vidi might think he has Broadway and a possible live yeah. Jack High Flush Draw, but Arun with the second nuts right now. Oh, boy. How sick is this hand? This is going to be it for Vidi. It's got to be, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. Arun just tried to sell it with his uh, body language there. I don't know if that's a tell, but. Vidi looks like he knows it, too, actually. This is really gross. 
Wow, and he just makes the call. He might lose the minimum. Ace on the oh. river, pairs the board. More ways to get away from it. Perviti. It goes check, check. Check, check. Sicko. David, way to lose the minimum, my friend. That's crazy. Wow. You saved the minimum. Facts. You see that, Arnie? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. How that, how how that flop world? doesn't get raised is beyond me. Oh, I got to announce some locations oh, yeah, here. Sorry, Apple. What a crazy. sick hand. Yeah, that was wild. Oh, man. All right, let's see where you guys are from tonight. Arun really tried to sell that, though. I, I agree. I would have. I would have. Oh yeah, for sure. Noticed that in a heartbeat and been like, mm, Nah, bro. We've got Forney, Texas, Kansas City, Missouri, Mansfield, Lantana, Texas. It's the only one. Crossroads, it's Miami Beach fun. here every week. Love to see it. Gig Harbor, Washington. Hello, Washington. Roy City, Texas. Dallas, Oak Cliff, Lagrange, North Carolina, Maine. Uh, JTMNY's at work. Uh, Bangor. Let's see. La Palma, California, Baltimore. What's up, Baltimore? Charlotte, North Carolina, Houston. Orlando, Gainesville, Florida, Lowell, Massachusetts. We got Irving, Texas, McKinney. Guys, welcome. CCH Live tonight. As we are already at the river card coming. This player's playing speedy. Jack of the river changes nothing, but pairs the board. Speedy with an eight is good, as Arun is betting. And a call, look at this. A oh. little rake back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's too cheap. <laughs> I'm on to. You're on to. <laughs> We're even. <laughs> I have to agree, Kimmy, 100%. <laughs> Especially in a tournament, it's just so gross. Like how stacks weren't in on that hand is just really beyond me, especially in a tournament. Arun of 9-8 suited in the small blind. Just calls to Bart. Bart's going to check. Does come queen 10 do so second oh, pair for Bart. It. Second end. Yeah, sorry, excuse me. Two middle pair. bottom yeah. for Bart. And a gutty for uh, Arun that are all live. I said middle bottom. It's bottom two. What the frick? What kind of words are yeah. we using today? Bart, was, Bart was, was waiting on him to do this. And Arun just on an open ender puts the money in. <laughs> wow. And they're all live. All eight outs are live here. I guess it was only 100K more. Yeah, I guess that's, that's why. Fair. Doesn't find oh. it. Bart, top and Bart. bottom. Chipping back. They can't. They cannot get him out of there. It wasn't even top and bottom. I screwed it up again. Nice man, boss. God damn. Middle yeah. bottom. Middle bottom. At that point, it was middle bottom. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm, all right. Oh, I was foreseeing it. No. Because that was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I told the opening, I bet 100, like. I appreciate our viewers for being patient with me. My stupid vernacular. I mean, like, if you run it, if you run it, like, on an average basis, like, how many hours you put in the booth versus how many mistakes you make, like, your average is still very low. Yeah. I mean, your booth hours are through the roof. Like, you crush everybody here in booth hours. So don't be so hard on yourself. Buddy. Eh. <laughs> the internet has no sympathy for booth hours. Internet, you know. You know could what not I do, less. though, buddy, okay? I do. Thank you, President. Thank you. <laughs> Over to Jim in the big blind, waking up with the queen jack of clubs. He's going to just make the call for a runes open. We're technically ahead here. Let's see if he holds. Well, yes. Not the flop you're looking for yeah. with Queen Jack Clubs. Either player really just does not like this. Ah. 
I beat him one hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, see, look, bro. The stop got it. Your back, stop bro. it. Look at this. Oh, my God. Stop look. it. <laughs> I love you all, too, but come on, man. I'm just uh, trying to be real. I got to be realistic, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. Like, if I ever want to be, you know, the dream of sports announcer yeah. for – you know, CBS. Yeah, you gotta hold yourself to. A, I got. A I gotta. I gotta yeah, beat standard. my own. My, yeah. my own butt up. You know what I'm saying? Bart shipping my favorite hand. I love this. It's gonna work. Yeah. He's doing. I gotta this, remember that. He's doing this very targeted, though. You see that uh, on his button when it folds to him against the two specific players. The they're so that's have to the wake up with something exactly because he knows they're the tightest. Yeah. So he's more likely to get that bluff through than versus VD or Rune. And he's just taking those opportunities. And those are like the small things that like keep you in tournaments and also chip you up in tournaments. So it's really great to see. Yo, the chat never loses. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> you do as great as North Dakota plays and football. Let's, Bart let's, with see, the, let's look at North Dakota's. With the Cowboys, no action. Oh, cooler. VD has the pocket tins. Oh, oh wow. Not like this. <laughs> is what VD is probably saying in his head right now is Bart with the second nuts free flop. And he know VD knows like Bart opening in the cutoff. Oh, oh man, this is. Oh snap! Oh gosh! Yeah. Oh VD, my guy, what a cooler! And Bart, I mean, in position to win a massive wow. pot and be right back in this thing. Kings versus Tins. Oh, man. Kings for Bart. Will they go for piles? Will Bart go from 5,000 in chips to a million? So far, so yeah, good. Get him with that flop. <laughs> Seven on the turn. Only a ten. No oh, dice. Bart wow. doing the thing. He did the thing. He did the thing that I told you I wouldn't give you odds on. And VD's ran into two coolers in and this. And I would have given you so many odds. Crushed his stack. Oh, my God. You're welcome. Just crushed his stack, man. Oh, my gosh. Bart back in it. That is just crazy. Kings versus tens, nothing you can do there. You guys, this this whole journey might just be a highlight video. So you're watching <laughs> it live as we piece it all together, the story. Will he make first place tonight? I mean, it, it's we've his seen tournament it, to win yeah, at this point. We've seen it happen. It's just so crazy. I'm not rooting for anyone in specific, but oh my god, is it looking like I root Mr. for good TV. VD's all in now. He short stacked down to 300K. Queen 10. 320. I just, I just mentally need to prepare. That's why. <laughs> risen. <laughs> it's Easter on the final table. It I'm missing is chips, Eugene. I don't know where they want. The blinds have risen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you like review like the cards also? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Good sport, Beatty. Yeah.
Vidi uh, checking into his 2-5 seat on Poker Atlas at this point. It's just not been running super well for him on this last four hands no. he's been in. And now Arun going to try and make a move on Bart. Gets it done. Four twenty. All in. <laughs> Plays it. <laughs> Hand number 64 of the evening, TCH Live Dallas. Jim looking at King Queen off. Makes it 135,000 to go against Michael's the old probably big blind. sick of it on his yeah, big blind, dude. Imagine. He's probably just like, God, can I get a hand on my big blind, please? Once. What do you, what do you think about this new felt? I, I don't think we've talked about it. I like it. I like it, too. Uh, it's, I'm about it's it. It's very bright, but that might change. You know, with use. Yeah. Have you noticed the, the squares? I, I did notice the squares. I also did noticed. You know that's intentional? Is it? Yeah. For I was talking to Vic about it. What? What? Why? He just wanted it. He just wanted. He just wanted, he just wanted the pattern? No, he he wanted. No, I, I, do you know that there's one off-color square over here? No, I didn't. That's what I was. That's what I did. Oh, right so here. Th there's this one. There's two. There's this one. Oh. That's, that's a, like, a, like a gray one. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a red one right here. Oh, what is that? For? What? There is no reason for that other than the fact he wanted to mess with everybody. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> our COO. I love it. <laughs> I, and I love it. What's crazy man. is you can't see it on this view. No. That will. That's kind of wild. <coughs> I'm a big fan of that. Standard open. It looks like he will. Short-handed. King 10 is not as worse as it is. Nine-handed. And ace nine suited for Michael in position, and that's a real one. He's going to make the call. Having position definitely helps. Ace nine doesn't necessarily flop super well. What's a? <laughs> I was like, whoa. So we will see a flop here. And it comes. Ooh. Oh, spicy. Pair versus pair here. King 8 9, two diamonds. No player with a diamond. Ace 9 for Michael Bart with the king. And Michael's going to come along. Four of clubs. Changes nothing. 
500 spray. Bart's going to apply max pressure here, betting 500. Putting and Michael all in. All in, yeah. Would put Michael all in. Oh, he makes the call. Wow, he needs help. Oh, wow. Maybe he had Bart on the draw, and he doesn't. Bart's got the goods here, and Bart is looking to seriously chip up. And he does not. Ace is oh, up on the river. We'll double wow. up Michael. What a river for the engineer. Michael Molino. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. Bart can't believe it. He's like, how'd you even call that? Then he loves the call, and then he hates the river. That's gross. Bart, who would have had a 2.2 million chip stack, is now down to just over 500K. Oh, wow. What oh, a roller coaster. Goodness. Ace from space. Yeah, Birdman said yeah. it better. Wow. It didn't really hit me either, and I knew he had an ace. That's crazy. All you can do is keep getting it in good. But a nice hand for Mike. Always nice to get a suck out at that level. I mean, listen. I'm not complaining if, play, if I'm Mike. So if you play a lot of tournaments, you have to suck out every now and then to even make it here. Like, just truth be told. He's going to ship his ace five off. <laughs> Arun wrote down that his occupation is trying to become a PRO, a professional. Where'd it go? I wonder how true that is. <laughs> He's a, he's a pro in he our He plays a lot, hearts. yeah. He yeah. sure does. What? Arun says he's got over 10 final table appearances. Jim's got four. Bart, eight or nine-ish. Let's see, Michael. Michael's got four. Wow, that's a lot wow. of final table appearances what? between the, the remainder of these players. Shouldn't be 570. Where's David? And we're going to have a, a VD ship and a Michael call here. King four suited versus pocket nines for VD's tournament life. No king to be had. Clean for the nines. Five here on the turn. Needs a king. Does VD? Doesn't find it. In fact, nines full for Michael. will eliminate VD. VD had an overwhelming ship advantage at the yeah, beginning of this really final table. And there they coolers. all went. Michael going to definitely chip up heavily, and VD is going to be eliminated in fifth place for 3440 bucks. So how about it, chat, for the GGs for VD? Drop a GG VD in the chat if you don't mind. He played well, and you just like you said, he got mega cooler way too many times. I mean, really, he could his tournament could have been over a long time ago with that, <laughs> that hand that him and Rune were in. But, uh, yeah, good game, VD. See you around. Bart's going to ship the queen 10. Against this, the tight players at the table again. He gets it almost done around queen 8. Very nice move. Four players remain. Mike, Arun, Bart, and Jim remain. Who's taking it all down? I don't think we're chopping this thing. No, I don't see any of these players chopping.
players left. One player is going to be taken down. Fourteen thousand dollars here from Dallas, <laughs> Texas, and I'm telling you, this is a local weekly tournament crazy. where you can make five figures, well over five figures. And next week's even better. If you're ex if you just love this tournament and the 50k prize pool, well, how about next week where the guarantee is fifty thousand dollars, which we're going to smash. Five hundred dollar buy-in. The third Saturday of every month is going to be this bigger one tournament. And let's get back to that in a minute. Arun to Arun's in the hand. He is going to open. Will he get any action? Damn. No dice. The first pocket ace is all day. <laughs> Shit. So like I was saying, the third Saturday of every month here oh, indefinitely. Oh, indefinitely. Indefinitely, as long as we don't have a big tournament on it during that month. Nice. It will be the bigger one. So normally it's a 365 buy-in for a 20K guarantee. That's what we do every single Saturday. And it brings you the tournaments just like this one. But every once in a while, and we're going to bring you the $50,000 guarantee for a $500 buy-in. First place, usually somewhere around the 30K mark, 30 to 35K. And that's a nice day's work. That's Sorry, yeah. That'll do. It's crazy. No, so join us next week. It's going to be a blast. It's next week, right? We're already there? Yep, DPA next week. This year's almost over. Yep. It's crazy. Uh, yep. Good riddance. Ace, nine of clubs for Bart. We'll bump up the jam. Raises it up to 150,000. And whoa, how about Jim waking up with it? in the small blind. Well, at least Bar to Bart's credit, he knows that if Jim's going to be raising back here, most of the time, Mr. Coyle's going to have the goods. So. Bart should be able to make a pretty, pretty easy fold. The bet's just huge. He's basically committing himself at that point position pretty irrelevant with the stack sizes. At least that's what I would imagine. And he does look like. Yeah, especially the against the two opponents to his left specifically. Arun's going to make a move here. And Michael will <laughs> oh, oblige. <wow. laughs> Love it. 10 7 6 is going to be a <laughs> pair of sevens for Arun. One diamond. Michael not going to go fishing. We're on to the next one. Battle of Garbage is correct. Jim here now with the real hand, 10-9 suited. Yeah, he's going to let it go under the gun. That's kind of wild. I was doing it with anybody free flop. Mm. Thank you. 
Michael going to raise the Jack-9 suited to 150 to go here. Jim with the Ducks. Thirteen minutes left in this level. Calm before the storm, a rune ace jack suited. Sorry. I forgive you. <laughs> forgive him. It's going to open it to 150,000. Bart, two live ones. But he is behind. Does that position. Oh, oh. Going to send it on oh, top. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Feel like Arun, who is not even at risk for his tournament life. Michael, oh, the same hand. Wow. What's Michael going to do? And if Michael elects to ship it, what does Arun do? And percentage wise, now Bart super live, knowing that two aces and two jacks are dead. He lets it go. Now Arun, who actually has two less outs now, oh, should he need wow. them. And he didn't. Arun is not at risk here. But it is for a lot of chips. And what? Did he fold? <gasps> wow. Bart. Bart's like... <laughs> so we have the exact amount that I can that, that can make me fall. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's respect right there. Oh boy. Oh wow. He makes the fold and he is gonna hate to see that one later. Most likely. Most likely. I yeah, mean yeah, I mean yeah. once you see that another ace jack was folded, yeah. you can like sort of pat it's yourself like, on the okay, back. Sweet. But like, I mean, at the same time, though. I think out of a pure, how much did Bart have before 600, that? About 640. Six, so, so 10, 10 bigs, I think. Oh, man. Bart going to raise it up. AC Ducey. Ace to oh. Michael going to make the call 10-9 to Rune. He's out of there. Let's see a flop. Seven five seven. No real hand here for either player, but ace high is the best of it. Check check. Rivers a six. Still no pair for Michael or Bart, but Michael does pick up a gutter. Check check. Rivers cards a four. Ace high still the best. And ace high is good. Yeah, I think, yeah, I definitely agree with the chat. I think an ace jack suit there is definitely a call with 10 bigs for 10 bigs. Hey, Pete, I want you to pull it. No, I didn't even know that you had that big bag on I sound like you're so awesome. I uh, <laughs> coming down to it. I'm gonna huge on Peter today. 
I, I didn't know he had that big stack like now. I raised and he was tanking from the big man. I told I'm calling Peter, I'm calling. And then he said, fuck all in. <laughs> I call it ace man a diamond. He had ace king. I got run out on a plush. Right. That is something that happened. Arun wanted me to talk about a couple of the hands that I witnessed uh, when there were about 16 players left. We could definitely shed some light on those hands because, oh my god, Arun ran pretty horrible. Jack Knight versus Six Trey. All clubs in the house comes, oh, two pair for Arun and Bart just a bluffing candidate, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if you, you want to call it that. <laughs> And he elects not to make a move. Arun takes it down. Yeah, I think uh, Arun got it in. Uh, yeah, ace 10 versus nines and an ace on the flop. And it went like runner, runner, diamond a couple times uh, for the nines. That's the hand I remember he wanted me to talk about. That was against Mark in our seat nine earlier. Oh, well. Yeah, he's seven versus nine, ace on the flop, runner, runner, diamonds. And then he stood up and clapped for me, said, that, let the best player win. <laughs> Arun's going to give me crap for not remember the other one. But I told him I'd shed some light on it. Michael ace here. King. Wow. That's the real hand. Any action? Nope. Negative. Guys, we have some really awesome viewership right now. Over 555 of you guys hanging out with us tonight. Live and in person. We are in Dallas, Texas tonight. Ben Miney and Pez, of course, here on the final table with these four remaining players have been playing out of their minds, including WSOP circuit ring winner and tournament crusher Bart Bogard. Making an appearance, ran deep in the main event. I believe just about 300th place for him in the main event this last year. Super sick run. Arun and Mike, both tournament regulars here at Texas Card House. And of course, Jim Doyle, husband of Dory Coyle. Also a, a legend in the area. Jim now with the pocket gyms. He's going to pump it up again. See if, I mean, Bart definitely can make an easy fold here, but. See if he does so. He does. <laughs> Getting first, man. Two aces for Michael. Oh boy. Gonna put some pressure on the big blind. Oh no, he just called, excuse me. And Arun here gets to see a flop with Queen Trey and it does come eight high. Not exactly what the doctor ordered. Mike snap checks, check back. Six on the turn. Ace is now gonna try and build a pot for himself and he does not get any more value. Ambofun asked in the chat, hey, Ben, should you tip your waitresses and staff? No way, man, because, you know, waitresses and waiters definitely get paid enough from the establishment because <laughs> that's how our country works. Two dollars. I sent some month, sarcasm, dude. sir. Bro, it's just criminal that restaurants get to make so much money off of their waiters and waiters and waitresses. But that's another story for another time. Tip your waiters and waitresses. They definitely need the help. 
I always love to. I'm a big fan of tipping myself. Take care of the people that take care of you. 100%. This has been the most interesting blind v. blind battle Crazy. on the entire table. Uh, they've been battling blind versus blind quite a bit, and Bart hasn't pipped here. But Arun's not one to just lay over. So let's see if he, if he decides to make a call here or if he wants to try to make a move now. He's going to see a flop, and this could be disaster should one of those kings come out. King 8-9. Oh, my God, it's oh, there. It's, king, wow. it's a king I flop. And that is exactly what Arun did not want to see. And he's checking, thinking he's probably trapping at this point. Yeah, definitely thinks he's trapping. And a, that's what it is. It's a snap yep. shove and a snap oh, call. Wow. Arun needs to find an 8 or a 3 to chop. Well, 8 to win, 3 to chop. Oh, my goodness. The money is in there. Oh, another massive all-in for Bart. And a rune. Man, this, I'm telling you this. A queen oh, comes on the turn, wow. more chop outs. And a nine, oh. Bart. Is not, is not going to work matter. out. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, no that's gross. No way. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Oh, no. Bart makes three pair on the river, and that's no good. It's a chop. He what? counterfeited himself. Oh, man. That's insane. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. It was looking so good for Bart, but instead we play on. Bart's tired of it. He had to suck out the, oh, man, that's just bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Not like this. <laughs> no. Jeez, Luis. I mean, good on Arun gets to keep battling. I mean, I would that would tilt me a little bit, to be honest like a lot just how it's happened to him multiple times king eight versus jack ten they're battling once again Much less action flop this go around. But Arun's betting in Bart. I don't know if he's buying it. All right, he, he decides to let it go. Man, what a pot. <laughs> Two tens for Jim. He's had nothing but big ones yeah it's really like he's only had nothing it's either like air it's playable yeah. yeah it's either air yeah. that he can fold or just straight gas yeah which tens four-handed and it doesn't get much more premium than that and michael's got a suited ace in the big blind it's an easy defend he's got position two let's go to a flop and it's a seven in the door two jacks on the flop might be trouble for michael Jim likes it enough to continue 225, and I mean, you're 
Flop two pair, you gotta you gotta at least see a turn. Two pair ace kicker, like pretty solid. It's an eight on the turn. Jim might be red flagged here because Michael has slow played a lot of his nutted up hands, and here he goes. If now he's basically repping a jack here instead of a seven. Betting big. And that's gonna put Jim in the tank. That's oh, about two thirds of his stack. Big bet. A little bit less. Just shy of a pot size bet here. I think the only thing I don't like about this is like we don't need to turn our hand into a bluff mm -hmm. here. A lot of the time we can be good and only better hands are calling. Yeah, spot on there. Like he might get these tens to fold just because it's Jim, but in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Like, take your seven oh. to showdown, and here we go. Here's the. Yeah, now you put yourself in a rough spot. I mean, you got to call now. Yeah, only three hundred and thirty more for a pot of two million. Jim just needed to fade the snap call, and he and he didn't get the snap call. He got the tank call, which is seven now. Which could have just checked to a free river is now in a bad spot. Needs one of four outs left in the deck. He caught one of these last time, though. Can he catch oh, it now? Don't do it to a miney. Oh, oh no, wow. no, oh miney! Michael catches another ace from oh space God. and eliminates it's Jim. Oh my gosh! That's, oh, no, my man. Oh, my God. Oh, it's official. I am so sorry, Jim. It's official. Oh, my goodness. Well, we got to oh give the GGs to boy. Jimmy. Played it perfectly, I'd like to think. Yeah, absolutely. No, he really did. And he did. deserves yeah. the GGs. Send the man, yeah, really the did. love in the chat, Jim Coyle, ladies and gentlemen. He really did. find whatever place I, I take now. I was all in from 80, you are all in from 5,000. 5,080 5, bucks going to Jim, or excuse me, no, to uh, th 3,900 going to Jim and 5,000 bucks to the next player. And a rune now with pocket 10s. Oh. That's grody. We could play for the first place and what? play second and third for divide second and third. Ace five nine all spades. Michael with a pair of nines. Arun's pocket ten still good. He's gonna continue to take it down. Some saying play fourteen and divide eight, eight six and five. So we at least get like stone. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Hey, good question. So if you don't mind, like we'll play for first place, but then second, third, we'll chop. take the two and chop second, third. Like so, second, third will get like six then instead of five and seven. So we'll They're talking about restructuring the price. Yeah. Well, not chopping. Okay. They're still okay. gonna play for first. But they're gonna well, alleviate some of the difference between second and third place. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That way it doesn't affect you since you got all the chips, you know. Yeah. Wow. So we're gonna play for the first place. Can you chop the first, right. second, and third equally? Second, third again. I swear, Mighty, if I'm ever at this final second, table, third, do not yeah, yeah. do me like that, bro. Just do, don't even, just stop yourself. He only needs one of four just outs. Stop, Will he just, catch it yeah, on the rip? Just, <laughs> just stop yourself. <laughs> unless it's like, in, unless I need the one of four. You can't pick, you, you can't have it both ways. Okay. You can't bully me and have it both ways. That's fair. Then don't do it. Okay. <laughs> do you want me in the booth or not? Like, that's, <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> What a massive pot that was, too. I wish uh, the oh, archives wait. of you calling oh, no, this no, no, stuff no, no, no. is just... Right. Shut up. I feel home right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm calling the final table. Oh, okay, Big Miney just no, cooled somebody. Sweet. It should be up to us to design. Yeah. Smart. 
You think it was before this? I had no, 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 I'm just joking. I'm just it was like 6.52 for second and third. Yeah. It's cool. I don't know. That's cool. Wait. Yeah. I actually really like that. I've never thought about it in that manner before, but I like that restructure. So that sounds to me like we're playing it all out. Yeah. And I like that. That's what I like. See? Now this guy's got jamming me. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's already getting the second place money. God damn it. Oh my god. I call. Uh, I was like, yeah, Rune has to call. I was just about to say, he has to call. Hey. All right. Bart might flip this table if this, this chops somehow. For Bart's life. Oh, but an oh, ace in the, in the door. Window. And uh, that might just be it for Bart. But he's got oh, one diamond on the turn. Can he find wow. the last one? He oh, does! Oh, my God! The nut diamond, and he finds it. Wow. Oh. Oh, so sick. Runner, runner, diamond, giving Bart the flush, and even more chips. We're going back the same deal. Even more chips. This is, what a, Come uh, on, what man. a turn of events this is. Are you kidding me? He finally got him. <laughs> well, he knows he's gonna get the second place money. That's why he's strong. How do you, how do you not win the tournament after that? Yeah. I'm sorry. But I don't know, man. The C1 uh, there is just running pure. But I totally agree. What a, what a crazy run out. And Bart now with over a million in chips. Poker is sick. It really is. Nice answer. <laughs> Wow. Welcome to the final table, friends. This is free entertainment. This is some yeah, free entertainment, really baby. Yeah. Hit the like. Hit the subscription button. We've got poker like this all the time, and I'm here all, all week, baby. Let's, let's go. I'm not missing an episode. Oh, and here we go again. No Here way. we go again. No way. Small blind versus big blind. Bart's got 800k. King three, king five. Do not do it to this man. King high flop would be gross. Oh. <laughs> and their kickers play, bro. At the moment. At the moment. For it, now. It's yeah, not yeah, going it's to. It's probably not. It's yeah. not going to play. Oh, my God. It doesn't matter. Three pair. Again. Same thing oh, again, yeah, though. Right. It's literally the same thing again. That's gross. Bart can still win if he catches that five. five. Yeah, the five. He's free rolling him. <laughs> it was a low card. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Although, like, I don't think Bart ever jams here. It, like, this is purely a call. Uh, yeah, but if he would have jammed, it would have been gross. Three pair again. <laughs> It is the second time. That's so man. I that's that, crazy. Right? For what you did to me. <laughs> Deuce on the river uh, got got uh, ruined. To think about it though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> second time. Oh my god! What a what a sick tournament this is. I'm glad I chopped your ending. Just as good as last week. Last oh, week was man. the one where I was there, but the, I wasn't the story of that tournament. Oh. Arnie and Falco were the story of that tournament. Yeah, that, uh, if you that didn't last watch it, was crazy. you have <laughs> got to watch last week's tournament. Find it in the archives on TCH Live on the channel after tonight, after you're done watching here. Oh, my God. We are talking about the most dramatic. We're talking about drama, like fighting drama between Arnie and Falco. Check it out. Meanwhile, let's finish out this guy. Three players remain. Bart, big slick. With only the big blind left to play, is just gonna rip it, and uh, Michael says no. <laughs> no, thank you. Wow.
Bart, World Series crusher. Michael, our chip leader. And Arun, our action player. It's anybody's game. It really is. This is just, this is really shaping up to be a crazy ending to what's already been a crazy tournament. Well, it's not going to end on this one. Michael improves to two pair in. Looks like Arun's betting it. Straight air ball bluff. Comes a nine on the river. Brings in a four liner. The eight or king is a straight. Oh, not goodness. big enough. Not big enough. Michael's definitely calling this. Snap call. Yep. Six high. Playing the board. Jack nine okay. off. Opens and takes it. And guys, I say it again, we only have a few cabins left for the cruise to book. And if you haven't booked yet, if you want an incentive to book for that awesome cruise with poker cash games and tournaments along with alcohol and fun things you also get 10 hours of play here at texas card house complimentary at any location all you gotta do is book a cabin and you're in there two kings for a rune more on that later wow just gonna call the 80k bar jack nine he's getting well Arun getting a little a little swifty here, oh, and now wow. it's going to go three ways to the flop. Let's see something crazy. Seven deuce deuce. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Arun takes it down. with an ace here on the button is going to open to 200k queen jack for michael thinking about it he's going to think better of it and a rune snap all in two sixes and bart wants the count is bart going to call this off Bart would still have chips left if he makes this call. What do you think here? What's 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 the numbers on Ace Four calling under a ship from sixes? Oh boy, that's a fold. Yeah, and he does do so. If it was suited, I think it's a snap. But how much was how much does the rune have now? Uh, let's see. There was about eight fifty, about just over a million. Pre that was he had eight hundred, so ten ten big one shove. Thank you. 
eight six versus Jack four. <coughs> ten ten seven flop. Ace on the turn, scare card. Does anyone want to rep it? No dice. It's queen on the river. Jack high, the best hand for Bard. And it goes check, check. Nice. Juan Velocas, uh, how much for the buy-in for today? It's 365, 365 American bucks. Oh, you hadn't said it all. No. Nope. All stream. I was doing pretty good. Nice. I will say right now, we've, since we've only been asked one time, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. But uh, all the information about today's tournament is in the description of the stream today. Prize pool, buy-in, how many entries, and all the payouts for the final table. Also, if you download the Poker Atlas app, you can find all the information on all the tournaments here at TCH Dallas in that app. Bowling. Structure, prize pool, etc. Clark going all in oh, with King Nine and Michael. Oh. Says no. He gets the better hand to fold. Nice move. Which Michael right now is just super incentivized to just not get into anybody's way unless he has premium hands. Um, he's really... Well, not really anymore because now they're just chopping, chopping second and third. So, uh, never mind. Scratch that. He does have the chip lead, though, so there is some incentive there for to let them to duke it out. If you're playing for the same first place money, you might as well make it easier for them to put chips in the middle. Yep. Rune gonna open 8-7. Michael, the best hand in Jack 4, makes the call. It's sweeted. Comes Queen Jack 5. And Rune is gonna keep barreling. The pressure is on, and Michael with a pair. Can't fold yet. Michael has been so sticky with the Rune. Rightfully so. He's smelled it out every time. Come on, oh, my God. A oh. snap all in from Arun. Michael with a now crazy decision to make. Fold the oh. best hand. Nice hand for Arun. I think if that card's any other card but a king. Uh, I, like, Arun's doing that, I think, regardless of what the turn card is. Uh, but if it's not a king, I think Michael calls it off. But uh, Arun's going to get that one through. Are we just on YouTube tonight? Hit me with the hard questions. <laughs> uh, well, we're definitely I mean, on Facebook and Twitter. Like somebody's got to, you know, ask the questions around thing? here. We're definitely on Facebook and Twitter. Question is, if we're on Twitch, let me check. And we are nice. Is there people in there? Yeah, eight, we got eight friends over there. What's oh, up, guys, sick. in Twitch now that I see you? Twitch land. Hey, guys, over there. English only. Live stream. Yeah, it was a live stream, too. I, I Taco Dude says hello. <laughs> On Twitch. Welcome, everybody. What's been y'all's favorite hand of the night so far? I came from 80,000, two blinds. I know, I'm seeing that. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I'm seeing that. And I doubled, I doubled him up twice. <laughs> Owen. A snap ball in. Ship the threes. Chipping up. Just under a million. In this configuration, Bart basically is. No, we made a deal. Just do that at will. No, 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 no. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why would you be upset, fucker? Asshole. Yeah, that's nothing to do. Yeah. First place. We're playing for the first place. Second and third are equal time. Oh, okay. We're big one. 
<laughs> I see that <laughs> in the Twitch. Here we go again. Michael versus Arun. Jack three versus King six. Ace three eight. All diamonds. Seven on the turn. Check, check. Four of clubs. King high. Damn. Nice hand. Got there with the, with the three. Pot here, Arun versus Bart. Battle of the Ten Highs. Ace, Ace, Four. Action flop. <clears throat> All right, wheel draws for both players now. They got each other's outs. And currently, the five playing. Ern gets it done with some aggression. And uh, a nice hot, hot take, and I mean burning hot take from Poker Monkey. The Gulf of Mexico is an ocean basin and a marginal sea of the Atlantic Ocean, largely surrounded by the North American continent. So I would like you to please leave, sir. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you weren't here for the beginning of the tournament, that's an inside joke for us. Right, let me see. What what's somebody that's like this is their profession? Oh, what would you call this type of person? We need that expert. Oh, Ace King versus Ace Jack though. Oh, oh wow! Michael's gonna call the Ace Jack suited. Bart has Ace King. Huge hand for Bart. Oh. Wow. Again, he was down to 5,000 in chips, which was like, I don't know, 10% uh, no, of a big blind. And now he's here looking to make a big splash. Ace King's still good. Michael needs to find a jack or running spades. No spades coming. Needs a jack and a jack only. No oh, dice. Ace wow. King doubles up through the chip leaner, and Bart makes it very interesting on this final table. Yeah, look at these chip stacks now. Uh, Michael down to 2.3 million. Bart has 1.7. And Arun huh? with 1.5. Each player with almost over 20 bigs. This is, this is going to be crazy because um, in four minutes, this 20 bigs gets chopped nearly in half. Very nice for Bart Bogart. <laughs> Staying alive with the double up. What a just, what an insane man. We're going to talk about you for the next few months, I believe. <laughs> really good be to be Five back thousand. in the booth for sure. This is a great final table. This is a banger for sure. Yeah, this is a good one. And now pocket kings. <clears throat> back to back, huge hands. And I mean, astronomically huge hands on this final table for Bart. Uh, now he's bullying. And he gets no action on this one, but that's okay. He'll take a win no matter what. <laughs> Arun tried to say he's nice bullying. No, sir, I am not.
You know, the rule I thought was no cell phones on the final table. Maybe it should be no rabbit's feet. Who has a rabbit's foot? I mean, Bart's looking oh. <laughs> pretty rabbit's footish at the moment. Ace for a rune. And a suit of king for Bart. He might see one. What is it? 215? Cool. He does see a flop here. He does have position on the most aggressive player at the table. Six six four. He's high still the best. No diamonds to be had. Spart just rocking king high and a rune oh, snap whoa. sends it. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna get Bart to make a mistake of that nature. Bart's probably like, yeah, I, I, I don't believe you, but I'm not going to handcuff myself to a bad decision. Really interesting dynamic we have for these uh, final three players here. Arun can open it up with the 10 6 of diamonds. See if he gets any action here. Michael, ace nine, he is not going anywhere. Slow playing again. Ace nine sometimes feels pretty nutted up three handed. Does come six high. Pretty darn all right for 10 6. Big bet. Oh my gosh. Mike says no. <clears throat> Can I pass the clock and take a break? No. I need to go pee. Oh, yes. I drank so many beers. <laughs> I don't want, I'm talking for you, bro. I feel bad for you. You need a break, too. No, I don't. Fuck. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Dealer Adam, serving up sweet ones. Oh. Love it. If uh, you've ever questioned the stamina of a TCH dealer, Adam just set the bar. We're built different. Oh, yeah. Three clubs on the board. No clubs in hand for anybody. This is a uh, yikes. Lines up pretty. The lines are up. 50, 100, 100. Guys, you could be anywhere on the internet tonight watching poker, watching movies, wherever. And you're spending it with us here at Texas Card House Live in Dallas, Texas tonight. Thank you so much. We've had a nice consistent 550 to 600 of you guys watching tonight, and we cannot appreciate you any more than we do. So thank you, and stick around. We are still three-handed from Dallas tonight. Players battling for a nice hefty bag of $14,000 as Arun wakes up with tens in the small blind after Michael opens. Ace-8. How much is it? And Bart oh. also with Ace-8. Look at this pot. Makes the call. Flop coming. It's a queen high board. No one really liking it. Might minimize some of the damage. But it is a one million chip pot. That's a lot of chips out there. And it goes check all the way around. Arun might like it even more as he does pick up an open-ended straight draw to go with his pair. And he's all in. Two folds means he's got the pot. 
Oh, I don't know if I like that show right there by him. I don't know about that. Because now they know, um, you know, if that's any type of indication of what he's been shoving before. He's, even though he had the best hand there, they could think that he's shoving light, which we have seen him do in the last uh, couple orbits. Something to keep an eye on. Coming down to it, though. Blinds just went up 5,100-100. Any pot here really very significant. And Rin's going for it. Oh, oh boy. Part two aces in the hole. And he's looking at that fine stack of chips Arun's got there. Can he go for the maximum here? How do I get all of those over here? And he's going to rip it. Michael, king four of diamonds is not going to be in there. Oh and gosh. wow, two king fours. Can Arun Seven. make the fold? Or does he want to gamble? Gamble. See what Arun decides to do here. One point what? One point, one point one forty five. And Bart not trying to give any information away here about his hands. None. Good lay down. Arun avoids catastrophe. Aces. Aces. <laughs> you short sure aces. <laughs> I thought since you had a piece of bad, you're going to just. Nice. Try to take me out there. <clears throat> Bart saying he was going for the uh, real life angle there. Since Arun said he had to pee, <laughs> thought that might incentivize Arun to make the call. Just get it over with. And as had another pocket pair. Like, this is four yeah, real hands out of five for him. Yeah. How sick would a three-way all-in to end it? Would that be? That'd, that'd be, be gross. That'd be sweet. Bark and open. Arun going to call. He's suited with a 10. He is out of position, though. See if he can flop well with this one. He does flop a pair. It's bottom pair, but middle set oh, for Bart. Oh, wow. This could get ugly quick. There's no way we see the a 10 or 5 turn, yes, right? There's no way we see a 10 or 5 turn, right? All right. But it is the, the a spade. Plus draw. Oh, yeah. Okay. A million outs. Well, not a million. 13-ish outs, right, for a rune? Okay, that's the best one. If Bart ships here, I think I think a rune snaps. Oh, it would be nine, but the six space open. Calling. <laughs> what did I tell what? you? What did I tell you, Miney? Bart pair ships it a and Arun oh snaps God. it. Snapped it. Arun needs help. He needs a spade on the river. Otherwise, it's going to be Bart's double up. It's a five and six is full for Bart. It was getting there on the river yeah, anyway. It was absolutely. getting it all in there same on the river. Same result. Yeah, same result. Definitely. Oh, my goodness. Circuit ring winner Bart Bogard makes the double up through our reaction player Arun here on the final table. And what is going on? Madness in Dallas. This is this has just been so entertaining. Bart just takes full advantage of that board there and, and the player type that he's going against. Uh, gets it in good and uh, yeah. Takes a, a large portion of Varun's chip yeah. stack. Man, if I see the river anyway, the, it's not going to change anything. No, no, of course not. Yeah, I mean, absolutely like not. Saeed in chat telling Arun to go pee. 
Like it might save you. It might save <laughs> it some money, but it might have <laughs> saved him there, really. <laughs> wow, look at the difference, though. This is what they're playing for. Sixty-eight hundred bucks is what the two smaller stacks have locked up. Basically playing for seven k. That's inc that's incredible. Yeah, that's 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 a real pay jump there. Yeah. Rune with five bigs gonna jam his suited king. And two oh, checks for Bart. No. Are you kidding me? It's totally Bart's oh, tournament. Oh no. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> he can do nothing but yeah, laugh. Yeah, it's just like it is what it is, man. It really is. Bart suited Bart's to get the like, nice little chip up here again. Heater right now. Heat check. For sure. Eight seven deuce All is gonna Bart's. be a pair for, for a rune. He needs a seven or a king. Jack is now having him drawing dead. Wow. Bart eliminates Bart. Arun in third place. Nicely done, Arun. He's going to take down 6,800 bucks. Game, Arun. And now it's a heads-up battle between two of the greatest players left. Bart Bogard versus Mike Molini. Congratulations to these players. They blocked up 6,800 bucks, but they're playing for big money. 14,700. Let's come to the booth and say hello to your boys, Ben and Pez. How are you guys doing tonight? Don't go anywhere. We just reached a heads up play, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Pez, who what do you got show. taking it down? Man, I got Bart, man. It's you got just, Bart? He's just been running so hot right now. It's really unreal. Um, how he's able to come from 5,000 chips and just all the way back to heads up. Oh, my God. Well, we're definitely playing heads up now, so don't go anywhere. It is time to do 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 as the kids say. Do 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 do. How much more? GGs to a rune in the chat, of course. Played well, and you know, took down a nice chunk of cheddar for his time. Michael is all in already with a pair of sixes. Yeah, second, second, and third chop. Correct. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He takes it down pre. And now this is one of the most important moments of a tournament is, Man, this is, is knowing is how to play heads up. Yeah, and for this this pay jump that they're 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 playing for it's really crazy. Bart was down to five <laughs> he thousand. Was One light blue chip is what he was down to. So in the small yeah, blind. In the small blind where he had to go in blind. Yeah he ten next it. That's just insane. He has come all the way back. How many times have we seen this on stream now? Like maybe realistic, three ish like times. This is, this is, it's it's wild. Oh boy. You gotta be kidding me. Oh Two no. queens. The run good continues for Bart. Let's see if he just decides to open. Yeah. He does decide to open. Michael. Two oh, kings! You gotta be stop. kidding me! Stop. Oh, Kings versus Queens heads up. How in the world does that even happen? This hand has been brought to you by Poker Stars. <laughs> Poker Stars, ACR, da 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 da. This is just cooler. Oh my goodness. Michael is all in for his tournament life. A Jack 10 5 flop. Bart needs one of two queens to end it all. A Not heart, on the turn. A, a heart, heart could a heart. do it. It's a king. Michael will wow. double up through Bart with top set. I had the flush draw on the turn. I know. <laughs> Oh, wow. What a cooler that is. It's not over, though. It's still anybody's game, but a fantastic hand for Michael. What a time to wake oh, up with Kings yeah, and hold. Crazy. Max and sweat the on the scales turn. scales have tipped to Michael now in this heads-up battle. I, I thought the heart was coming. What? Kings or Queens? For real. <laughs> Michael Molino, looking good. Poker playing engineer from Texas. Who slow plays under the gun. Yep. Has four Texas Card House live final tables under his belt to his resume. Looking to win a nice 14,000 here over end boss Bart Bogard. It's crazy. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better 
a better final table tonight, Miney. This has just been ridiculous action from the get-go. Michael opens Jack 8 off. Bart looks like he wants to play. He wants to see a flop. It's time to go. And it comes Jack 6 4. Straight draw for Bart. Top pair for Michael. Michael Man, not going to give him a good price. Oh my yeah, gosh. that's. He's gonna take it down with the best hand. Chips up again. Now just a, not even just about a two to one chip lead for Michael here. The tension, man. man I'm, uh, my heart's beating. <laughs> This has been an <laughs> unbelievable this is, test. The suspense here is these just, players. yeah, what a, what a battle. Let's get the polls in the chat, guys. Let's get ones and twos in the chat for who you think is going to take it down. One for Michael, Molino, our chip leader, or two for Bart Bogard, WSOP ring winner, tournament crusher, and end boss here at Texas Card House. One for Michael, two for Bart. Drop it in the chat. Who is going to take it all down? And an open fold. It's fine. <laughs> Got to have a couple of those. Oh, yeah, 100%. Can't play every hand. Yeah. See a nice balance there between ones and twos. You always like a nice balance. It's nice to get a nice 50-50 split when it's not even in chips. Yeah. It's probably like this guy should have been out of the tournament like four times already. If we want to color the blues up. Yeah. Two oh, kings for Michael. Wow. What a beautiful hand to have here. Let's see what uh, Bart has here. Oh, he's all. I don't know. We don't oh, know what he's got, but he's all no. in. Oh, and you know it's going to get called. Absolutely. Oh, no. Ace, oh, Ace Deuce. Deuce. He's live. Okay. It's Ace Deuce for Bart. Michael waking up with the Kings again. Can he find one or a dream? Otherwise, it's Michael's tournament. It's top oh, set. It's top wow. set. No diamond. No diamond in sight. And that is oh, going to seal. Queen. Oh, wait. A okay. You're <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. A night on the river will seal the deal. Michael will take it down wow. for $14,000. We're going to come back to the booth and sign you off and talk about it just what a little a bit. Man. My name is Ben Miney. This is, of course, Matt Lopez. We call him Pez here in the booth. And you just watched the final table unfold. What a crazy run for Bart. Almost coming all, yeah, the all the way to first place after having one light blue chip in play. That was worth 5000 which was, a, I don't know, 5% really of a big blind. And then Michael sucked out like three wow. or four times just to stay alive. Just an insane hand. The ace from space twice, twice. Got, yeah. got him a ton of chips. And it paved the way for his final table win. Congrats to Michael Molino, our champion tonight and winner of 14 grand. And of course, congrats to Bart and all the other players on the final table tonight. We thank them for coming out to TCH Live and everybody who made this tournament possible today. Thank you. One last, uh, we're going to do a little wrap up here from Dallas. Uh, of course, Ben and Pez doing the commentary for tonight. We had John Kelsey Cooper in the back running the booth, uh, making sure everything looks nice and smooth. We had our floor staff, uh, Eugene and Donovan, working the tournament today. And of course, all the dealers, waitresses, massage girls, everyone that makes Texas Card House possible, thank you. But it's not doable without you guys at home. So thank you all so much. From Dallas, again, Ben and Pez, we will see you on Monday from Austin for TCH Live down there. And we will see you then at 6 p.m., guys. You all take care. Have a great rest of your Saturday night.
Are you ready for a vacation that will make all your poker buddies jealous? Set sail with Texas Card House for seven days of sun, fun, and poker on March 26th to April 2nd, 2023. Sailing out of Galveston, Texas, the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas is one of the most awarded ships in the world. As you sail for seven days with Texas Card House with stops in Roatan, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. Sun, fun, and oh yeah, non-stop poker. Texas Card House is bringing their world-class staff on board for seven days of cash games, tournaments, and no matter your skill level, we've got games for you. Texas Card House Poker Cruise, Royal Caribbean, Allure of the Seas. Cabins are going fast. Don't get left in port and miss the vacation of a lifetime. For full details, visit TexasCardHouse.com. 